All right, so it is uh, Saturday night. Just got off work a little bit ago. I work a lot, hence the name Grinding For Real. <laughs> and also I love to fish, so that's where you get the real part from. But I said I was gonna do an update video two days ago, and I said I was gonna do it the next day, I did not. Uh, I work a lot, and so, but anyways, I came home today and I think I even went over this in the last video. My, 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 uh, what's it called? Brilliant Jewel Cichlids. I noticed the belly, and I'm pretty sure I said it in my last video, that the belly of one of them was much bigger than the other one. And the, they say the females get really red when they're spawning. So, and... Anyways, enough. Check this out. So, look at the coloring. And look, there's... I'm, I'm going to say that's a female. And you'll know why in a minute. And there's your male. And they're both just beautiful. Look at this. Look at that down in there. You see what that is? And I'll be honest with you, I looked about 45 minutes to an hour ago. Maybe not that, we'll say two hours max. I came over here and looked, and this was not here. Those are all eggs. So these two are definitely male and female. That's got to be the female based off of my, what I've read. The females are get this dark red. They're both just gorgeous. That's just awesome. That is so cool. I guess I'm gonna have a whole bunch of <laughs> brilliant jewel cichlids. <clears throat> but, so the update video, well one, I didn't clean any of my tanks yet. <clears throat> I was planning on doing that today, uh, but I got off work a little later than expected, so I just wanted to relax. But <laughs> I seen this, and I actually my wife seen it. Um, I seen the coloration earlier, but I did not see the eggs. My wife did. Yeah, once he gets out of there, you can see it a lot better. Look at that. That's crazy. And you know what he's doing in there. You know what he's doing in there. Sowing his seed. What a beautiful fish. And when I bought these, I didn't know they were African cichlids. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a little African cichlid tank. Which were my last video. I put, I think it's in a, what's it called? In, in Bluna, I don't know. I'm, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Especially in the last video. Like I went way off like in Bluna, I -E -O -Y, something. <laughs> I went way off in the last one. Um, but everybody, uh, and all the other tanks is doing just fine. But I put that small embuna, or however you say it, in with my flower horn. And I can promise you this, my old, my old flower horn that I had, that I ended up giving to that pet store, um, would have destroyed this fish, like, Although I knew that these African cichlids are very fast, they're also very aggressive uh, themselves. So I was like, man, if I maybe if I put some the right structure in there, um, some hiding spots, you know, maybe could make it. But I didn't want his life to be miserable or get bit. Uh, I said it in the last video. If he got bit, you know, I would take him out immediately. You know, and put him back in the other tank and put some Meliflex in there and stuff like that. So, but <clears throat> it's been two days and uh, Flower Horn is looking great. And this thing is doing just fine. I mean, and, and the Flower Horn's not chasing it. It did for like the first, I don't know, it, I stayed awake for maybe an hour after I put it in maybe two and it was chasing it but not, not nothing nothing too bad 
in the last video I took, I made actually, uh, of this when I put this fish in here, uh, I said that I even heard, I could hear it through the glass. I don't think you can hear it in the video, but I heard it. Uh, I, could, I heard him bite real hard while he was chasing him, but <clears throat> these things have very sharp teeth, and so one bite, you know, especially something that small, would, would probably be really not good. Uh, but every fish is different, regardless of the species. This is also a magma flower horn. The other one was a su supposedly a. SRD super super red flower horn or what super red dragon flower horn sorry this has more red and way more red and more purling and the head is bigger and everything this thing is just gorgeous but uh definitely a shout out to bluegrass aquatics they've been awesome um <clears throat> noticed in the past uh say month and a half it's really been like one video. Sorry about the lighting. I try to keep the lighting down that way. It doesn't the the glare. It doesn't glare off the tanks. But my the watch time and the views have gone way up. <clears throat> and I'm just doing this for fun. Um, I've got a good bit of experience now over the years. And so, if you guys have any questions, man, just ask. Or if you want me to do something, like, cool, do something crazy, <laughs> as long as it's not, like, you know, I'm not going to do a, a fish royale or anything like that. Like, that's just stupid, but, like, you know what I mean? I'm willing to spend some money, you know, do some cool things, whatever. I've got plenty of tanks. I've got plenty of fish. Can't mess with my wife's tank too much, I guess. You know, she's, she's got, she's already got, let's see, one, four discus fish in there. She's definitely getting another one. She wants a certain type of blue discus. I don't, I don't know, but anyways, um, the only thing I noticed that didn't go up, or not gonna say it hasn't gone up, but it, it's to me unusually low for the watch time and. Uh, views was the likes I don't get a whole lot of likes for some reason so I guess I'm gonna have to be that guy and say please like and subscribe <laughs> I'd really would appreciate it but uh seriously if you want to see something or you have any questions I've been doing this for, for years and uh, I have not lost a fish in a long long time so other than a fish that maybe I got from the store or actually never online. I can't say that. Blue, bluegrass Aquatics, I have never had a fish die on me from Bluegrass Aquatics. And they have a lot of, they, he's got really good genetics there. Uh, good pricing. Ships very fast. Uh, he's not sponsoring this by any means. I have told him that I that I'd give him a shout out just because I was very pleased. But Bluegrass Aquatics, uh, and it's pretty cool fish <laughs> fish come in the mail any time of year. Doesn't matter uh, where you live in the states. I don't believe uh, he's based out of Florida. But anyways, enough laughing about that. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna clean these tanks probably tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll do an update. Everybody's doing good, though. Everybody's looking good. There's the gold song, Green Terror. Bluegrass Aquatics. That's absolute gorgeous fish. His Jack Dempsey's also gorgeous. Especially the males. I'm assuming that one's a male. That one's a female. For females, usually don't get as blue. Look at how much blue is on that. Like, you would think that was the electric blue of all the electric blue in this tank. Look at that. That's just crazy. That's. Well, yeah. All right, guys. Stay grinding.